Igbo leaders under the Igbo National Movement yesterday called on President Muhammad Buhari to order the military out of the five states of the Southeast region. The Igbo National Movement made this call in their statement to newsmen in Oweri and signed by the President Anthony Olisa Okolo. Alongside other leaders, Barista Eze Eluchie, Chief Ben Okoro, Chief Peter Agbakalu, Nze Ugo, Akwe Onwuka, and Onyemuche Mbachu regarding the number of military men in the name of insecurity. Their reason for calling for the withdrawal of the military was that they were worried of a blanket shoot at sight order has been given by a Nigerian police chief to policemen on a special operation in the Southeast region. Accompanied by statements and directives which have already been put into effect with the deployment of hundreds upon hundreds of soldiers and security personnel accompanied with requisite military hardware. For this, among others, the Igbo group insisted that President Muhammad Buhari led federal government should, as a matter of extreme urgency, embark on express efforts to demilitarize Alibu and the Southeast and de escalate the state of insecurity by ordering an immediate withdrawal of the military from the streets of the Southeast cities and communities in Alibu. That the five Southeast state governments of Abia, Anambra, Ebonyi, Enugu, and the Imo states should, as a matter of urgency, codify and operationalize the indigenous security outfit, which they had all committed to for the region, Ibubiagu. Said, Ibubiagu security outfit should, as soon as possible, in collaboration with indigenous establishments, such as the town unions, step in to restore a bottom-up approach to security in the region. That the five state governments in the region, firstly, at the local government levels, then at the state, and finally at the regional level, organize multi-sectoral, non-partisan, all-stakeholders dialogue process summit on security. Solutions proffered at this dialogue process summit should be implemented as soon as possible. That Indigo as a people do not engage in foul, incendiary, and uncounted language to achieve our aims or to assert our guaranteed freedoms. Therefore, the advice that Igbo groups and their leadership who does such do not represent the views of all Igbos and should not be used by the federal government to characterize the disposition of the entire Southeast geopolitical zone towards the rest of the country. As Indigo are firmly committed to non-violent and constitutional means of advancing our demand for a fair, just and equitable country, the Igbo leaders said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, where? Well, basically, it is the truth that, you know, the Southeast is um, presently experiencing a military siege, you know, as um, virtually all the states in the Southeast are actually filled with um, security agents, ranging from soldiers to police to uh, civil defense to probably naval officers and uh, so many others. And uh, the truth of the matter is this. The Southeast might be under um, serious attacks when it comes to the issue of unknown gunmen. Or should the Southeast have actually experienced you know, a, hand, a, a dose of attacks, as it were. But definitely cannot be compared to what is happening in the North. So if the soldiers that have been pushed into the Southeast can, you know, up until now, not maintain the level of peace that the Southeast have enjoyed all along before the happenings of the South of the unknown government, then it tells you that it is not actually the soldiers that would maintain the peace. 
Don't forget that the soldiers, the police, and other security agents have out, had a fair share of their own attacks in the hands of their own gunmen, to the extent that they were even running away from this, the region, as it were. So there are various approaches that need to be considered or looked into to tackle this issue. And one of those approaches is actually what this um, Igbo group is actually suggesting, which is worthy of, uh, uh, of giving a chance. Withdraw the soldiers, the military, from the southeast. They are not in a war. There is no war happening in the southeast. Withdraw these people, withdraw them back, send them to the north where the Boko Haram, the bandits, are terrorizing people, kidnapping daily. Allow the police and the conventional you know, security operatives to do a thorough job. You will see that there probably should be you know, a level of um, uh, good result that will be gotten from this particular approach. Instead of terrorizing the people of the Southeast with security officers, soldiers, army, tanks, and all what have you, as if the region is actually in a war. And that is why policing should be made to be a very, very um, a state affair and a county affair that is a local council affair, just like we have in the United States. And until we get to this point, you know, policing will be difficult and uh, because if it is localized, then you know that the people in the community will definitely know those who are terrorizing themselves, terrorizing the community. This is not rocket science. It's happening in other places. It's working in other places. So it can work in the country, it can work in Nigeria. So it is worthy of, um, you know, giving a trial that the president should withdraw the security operatives and allow those uh, domiciled in the region to push, to police themselves and also um, carry out their jobs. And you see that the unknown gunmen would give up and they would not attack anymore. They are not with the people who you feel are aggrieved because the loss of life is actually just too much. The innocent lives that have been lost, the innocent lives that have been taken, are being you know, conscripted, those that have been locked up, arrested, tortured, brutally de dealt with, are uncalled for. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Everything does not have to be with force. Well, guys, drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And they want to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.